and it says, okay, there, we lost connection for a sec, but I think we're right back. So hopefully no troubles there, right? Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, okay, so now I wanna show you guys. Oh, thank you, okay, this is Miss Bonnie. Thank you for coming through. Okay, so she says, so we've got Misty Moonlight, Fresh Freesia, okay, that does, it does look a little more purpley, right? Okay, so Misty Moonlight, Fresh Freesia, that one must be Lost Lagoon, and then, um, this other one, I'm not sure what that one is, but, <laughs> Hi, Jerry, what does that say? I love the, the sentiment probably is what I'm thinking you're going to say. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's it's an awesome sentiment for sure. Yes. Okay. So, okay, now I want to show you guys. So, like I said, for our team meeting, we use the little monkeys uh, bundle as well. So, again, this is what we're going to play with in just a few. Yes, there you go. That's what I thought when it said SED. I'm like, I bet she says I love the sentiment. Yeah, it's an awesome one, Jerry. Okay. Uh, so, yes. So, this fun stamp set we used at our team meeting. We made this. These were our make and takes. And it was a great way to show off our 2023, 2025 in colors. Okay. So, it's this cute little like flippy dippy thing with some dyes that we're going to use on one of our cards today. Can't remember the name of it, but it's over there in my little tub. So we'll learn the name in just a few moments. But aren't these cute? So this is the little monkey in, um, what is that? Copper clay. Another monkey in wild wheat. Another monkey in boho blue. And then one more monkey in moody mob. Oh no, we've got one more still. And then the last one, the little upside down monkey in the pebbled path. And then we're back to the beginning. So just kind of a cute little um, way to show off all of our in colors. And you can see we use the ribbon on them too and the gems as well. Lemon lime twist, that's what I was thinking. Okay, berry burst, that makes more sense. Yes, pretty, pe okay, hold on, we gotta bring these back up because I was like, I feel like, okay, <clears throat> so here we go. Pretty peacock, blueberry bushel, berry burst, and lemon lime twist. Awesome. Thank you, Bonnie. <laughs> Very cool. I appreciate that. Okay, good. Now we know what colors are in the Tinsel Gems four pack. Okay. Um, so at our team meeting, we also, um, and I should say, I think I, if, if you were um, not able to get the make and takes and you still wanted them, I think I have one pack or I could put together um, anybody on my team. I'm going to say, um, if you're interested in the make and takes, I can give you all the parts and pieces. You do need the stamp set, so the monkey stamp set and the punch um, to do your stamping and punching, um, but I can give you everything else that you need for those cute little make and takes. <clears throat> Let's see, Anna is saying she loves the little monkey bundle. I made a cute treat bag ah, with the banana Laffy Taffies in it with that stamp set. Yes, I've seen some really fun projects like with that kind of like banana flavored candy idea. Um, yeah, so that's awesome. That's awesome. And Bonnie's saying, okay, she gave us the three pack colors, which I don't know if I have those handy, but if I do, let's see. No, I thought I did, but they're not in my little spot. So who knows? They're around here somewhere. But so Bonnie's saying the colors that she originally posted are in the Tinsel Gems three pack. And we were talking about the four pack. So, okay, now we got it. All right. Okay, so we also, at our team meeting, we do um, a little mystery project where basically I give you all the kind of um, dimensions, um, basically it's dimensions, tell you what you need to create a project, but I don't tell you exactly what. So you kind of have to be creative and come up with um, like what you want to use with not really knowing exactly what the card is going to be like. So then when we get to the meeting, I say, okay, the mystery is solved, right? This is a little project that we are going to make. And then I walk you through step by step how I put my project together. You put yours together and then everyone's is totally different because they didn't know I was going to use the little monkey's bundle. Um, but isn't this cute? It's like a little, um, I don't know, like a little gift tag kind of thing on the inside right there too. Brenda, hello and welcome. So it says, just swinging by to say hi. And then on the inside little tag, it says, I'm bananas about you. And I wanted to feature some of our new in colors as well. So we've got copper clay and pebbled path on that little card. So that one's kind of fun. We did, we just kept it super simple on the inside, right? You never know. Sometimes there's like fun stuff on the inside too. Oh, and look, actually, here is my Tinsel Gems 
three pack because this was my $600 club prize. So anyone on my team that had sales of $600 or more in April, so the following month in May, received the $600 club prize, which is the Tinsel Gems four pack, which this is where, hi Trish, hello, welcome, welcome. So Bonnie had said, and I'm trying to remember, flirty, I'm sorry, uh, fresh freesia, and I honestly can't remember the other colors. Maybe Lost Lagoon. Fresh Freesia, Lost Lagoon, and then maybe Misty Moonlight. I think those were the colors that she said were in the three pack. That's why I couldn't find them because I pulled them out so I could show you guys these were part of the $600 club. Then I also love to send cards to each of my top five sellers for the month. So I made a super simple card because I had to get this done before we went on the trip and I was totally running out of time. But it's a great way to feature um, designer series paper, right? And then I use some, uh, that's the denim ribbon. And then the sentiment, life is sweeter with you with some little bit of bling. So very, very simple, but it featured some of our new colors, the azure afternoon, and then um, the berry burst that's one of our returning in colors. So cute and simple, but hopefully everyone um, enjoyed those cards. Again, I sent those to all of my top five sellers for the month of April. And then we do swapping too. So even if you are um, a long distance team member, you can get the make and takes mailed to you. And I post pictures and I show you them at our team meeting so you know if there are any like special instructions, you get those um, from the video, the team meeting video that we do on a separate Inkspired Stampers team Facebook group. Um, <clears throat> and then as well, you can swap if you would like to. So if you make, so for example, this was one of the swaps that was made. This was made by Elsie Lynch. So she made 10 of these cards, puts them in the little um, clear envelope, brings them to the meeting, and then she swaps with whoever else makes swap cards. But again, if you're long distance, if you make these, you can mail them to me and I'll swap them for you and mail them back um, at no charge to you. So kind of an awesome way to get some fun um project ideas and what I love about swapping is it means you don't have to buy everything um, you know that's in the catalog to make all of these projects like for example I have 26 swap cards that I received while we were on the trip which is like insane right so I have um, like project ideas with 26 potentially different stamp sets or punches or bundles or dies or embossing folders, designer series paper, and I didn't have to buy everything, but I have all these examples that I can show at my um, team meetings and at my classes and other events. And then I can also use them for ideas for um, card class too as well. So very, very handy. So again, swapping. So this was um, a card that Elsie made. <coughs> Excuse me. This was a card that Nancy Gulick made. Love the that Daisy designer series paper. <coughs> okay, another quick sip of water. Hold on one moment. Mm. Okay, <clears throat> this is the fun, the little birdie, right? A little note of thanks. There we go. I'm going to figure out the glare situation in here, right? Then this one was Jenny Boffman, and I love that, right? Just the happy birthday. Love that um, layout, though, too. I haven't done that one in a while, so you might be seeing that soon on a Facebook Live. You never know. This is a cute stamp uh, sentiment, right? Yay, you. <laughs> is that fun? So Charlene Mogg made that um, swap card. And then this one was from Sharon Greening. Beautiful, right? So she incorporated some of the, um, what color is that? The Wild Wheat, which is a color that I'm working on <laughs> learning to love, I'll say. But this one does a nice job of featuring it. So thank you, Sharon, for that idea. And then lastly, this one was a card that Sunday Ostrander made with that daisy stamp set and die, so that bundle. Beautiful, right? So if you're interested, we actually happen to have another awesome starter kit deal. It just started yesterday, so on June 1st, it runs the whole month of June. You get to pick 100, let me make sure, it's 100, yes, $155 in product and pay only $99 plus sales tax, that 10% shipping fee is 11% now, actually, the 11% shipping fee is waived. So whatever 11% of $155 is, well, it's gotta be 15, 16, maybe $17. You don't have to pay that. Plus you get $155 in product, but you pay only $99 plus sales tax. So an awesome, awesome deal. You can get whatever you want. There are no restrictions. <clears throat> 
Oh, Jerry, I'm glad you like those cards. Yeah, and the frame layering was very cool too. Yes, I agree. I agree. I, like I said, I'm, I'm probably going to have to make one of those cards again sometime soon. Maybe it'll show up at card class this month. You never know. So speaking of that, um, card, our next card class, Simple Beautiful Card Class, is the second Friday. Now I can actually see my calendar. So this is kind of, this could work out well, ladies. This is like a whole new perspective for me being in my craft room here. Um, Let's see, so second second Friday, so it's next Friday, actually June 9th. Uh, simple, beautiful card class from one to three at the Peace Lutheran Church right here in Alma. So if anybody's interested, love to have you join us at card class. And like I said, you never know, maybe one of those swap cards or ideas like layout ideas will show up at our card class. So, okay, but so back to um, the starter kit deal, right? So if you're, you know, if you've fallen in love with lots of new products that you've seen from our most recent annual catalog, the starter kit deal is an awesome way to get a bunch of product at a really inexpensive price. Um, and then the best part, like that deal is great, but then you get 20% off of all of your orders after that too. There is never any pressure to do Facebook Lives, to hold classes, to run events. Um, if you want to though, I'm here to help support you in being able to do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. A lot of people might um, start out just having like friends and family over just to like stamp, just to make cards, maybe do a little card class kind of thing. And you never know, people start to fall in love with this and then they want stuff too. So it could kind of very organically and naturally like turn into like a little side business, a little side hustle, people like to call it these days, right? So, but again, never any pressure to do that. Like I said, most people buy that starter kit because they want that great deal and then they want that 20% discount on all their orders after that. So, but then you could participate in our team meetings over on our Facebook group. You can get the make and takes mailed to you if you're long distance or come to our meeting locally if you're close enough and can come to the meeting. Uh, you can do swapping with us. I do lots of, like we have creative challenges and business challenges, um, lots of just kind of camaraderie and togetherness in our group separately um, from this Facebook group too. So a great group to be a part of and I'd love to have you buy that starter kit and become a part of our Inkspired Stampers team. So let me know if you have any questions or are interested in doing that, okay? All right. I made, I put this little tub over here. So as I talked about stuff, I'm just supposed to be like tossing it in the tub. So then the, what did, what do we call it? Not, it's not craft-o-rama. I can't remember what we call it. <laughs> the craft-o-math, the craft-o-math, the aftermath of crafting, craft-o-math. I can't remember what the word is, but anyway, it wasn't supposed to be as bad. So I feel like I'm doing okay so far. So, all right. Yeah, so far so good. Okay. So I think we are ready to do our next drawing, okay? Which was, so I called it my cruising special. So for the cruising special, you got both of these cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live, plus eight more handmade cards. So you got 10 handmade cards in total for your $50 order as a thank you. You also got to pick from the May Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the free embellishment, which were the 2022-2024 in color pearls. And then your name is in the drawing to win either the Little Monkey stamp set that you totally are gonna want after seeing all of what I showed you plus the projects that we're gonna make, or you could win the Bird's Eye View stamp set. So, okay. Let's see, we got our names in here. We have one, oh, we are drawing, we're gonna do, first of all, we're gonna draw for the Little Monkey stamp set, okay? So one lucky winner of the Little Monkey stamp set is oh, Miss Teresa Hinchman. All right, congratulations, Teresa. You are the winner of the Little Monkey stamp set. So I will get that sent out to you. Congratulations and thank you for your order. Um, okay. Next, we're going to give away, did I really even show, show those? I think this one is so cute, right? I haven't played with this yet and I'm dying to. So this is the Bird's Eye View stamp set. You'll probably be seeing that soon too. Oh, you're welcome so much, Teresa. All right, Bird's Eye View stamp set goes to Miss Brenda Simmons. All right, congratulations, Brenda. I will get, <coughs> excuse me, that Bird's Eye View stamp set sent out to you as well. All right. <coughs> All right, so on our next Facebook Live. Oh man, my throat, I tell you. I have my mint still too, so I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna keep popping them in my mouth, I think. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so on our next Facebook Live, 
you will get the project. So I'm going to demonstrate in just a few moments. You will get to pick from the PDF tutorial for June, which features this super cute card. That was my project that's in the June PDF tutorial. So pick from PDF tutorial or the free embellishment. I still have a bunch of these, so I'm going to keep giving away the in-color pearls, right? And your name is going to go in the drawing to win. This is the new Brights Designer Series Paper Pack. Okay, so I have to open this up because I think it's so... I love, I love these Brights colors, like the way they all go together, you know, because we kind of change things up a little bit, put some new colors in, right? So there is our pack of designer series paper. So we've got polka dots and kind of like little dashes on one side, and then we've got those bold kind of diagonal stripes. And then can you guys see hearts are on the other side? Can you guys see the hearts? They're, they're kind of, are they upside down or I don't know? <laughs> inside out, right side inside out. Anyway, so that's what we will give away if you put an order through me using the host code for June, which I will give you in just a moment when we flip the camera down, because I think we are ready to do that. Okay, <clears throat> that and that, and that. those can go there. Look at, oh, I'm just like cleaning up. I love this. Okay, scoot this stuff out of the way. You gotta move my notes because you guys definitely don't want to see my scribbly notes. Okay. So I hope this works all right. I'm praying that like I set everything up okay on my, on my craft table in here, right? Okay, so turn your heads away. We are gonna fly through the air and, well, flip the camera down, right? Flip the camera down, fly through the, oh, look, you guys can see my ceiling fan now. That's interesting, huh? It's keeping me a little bit cooler. No AC in this house, ladies. So, okay, all right. So to be in view, that looks like we are in view now. Okay, all right, this is working. Hopefully you guys have to tell me if that fan is gonna drive you crazy. If it, if it does, um, let me know and I will turn it off because um, <clears throat> I feel like I can kind of see the shadow a little bit, but we'll see. Okay, okay. so, okay. This is what I see happening is I don't have a lot of room for my little tub, but okay, I think we can make this work. Okay, so actually, you know what I want to do though? Let me show you. This was our host code too. usually like to give you that. So this is our June host code. The DHMQM43T is what you're going to want to use to order through me to get this project and the other one that I'm going to demonstrate um, next, right? Okay, did I? Yeah, okay. All right, so here you guys can get a little bit closer up. So look at that sweet little monkey. He's so, so cute, right? And then here's some of that Inked Botanicals Designer Series paper. Yes. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Jerry. Thank you. Okay, oh, I see what you're saying. It doesn't, it's not bothering you. The fan is and all looks good. Yes. Okay. I got you now. <laughs> I'm like, I'm a little out of it, ladies. But actually, before I make this project, I want to show you, this was a swap that I received um, earlier in May, um, but again, uses the cute, the little monkey stamp set and that just swinging by to say hi. And then here is another one. And you know what? I kind of need to open this because I'm curious. I feel like there's something special going on here. This was one that I just received on the trip. Is it gonna do something? I feel like it is, isn't it? Okay, let's see. If you do, oh my gosh, look at that. How cool is that? Okay, I have it backwards though. I'm bananas about you, right? So does it go, oh my gosh. Look at how cool that is. It's like magic, right? Oh, look at, that is so stinking cute. I've never made one of these cards before, but look at how it just flips. As you, I'm trying to be careful so that I don't like hurt it don't ruin it or something right but oh my gosh look at how cute that is okay and then she used some of that daisy designer series paper which works really well it looks like the monkeys in a jungle right oh my gosh and you know what did she put a name on the inside no she didn't even like there's no indication so one of the lovely gals on the incentive trip to norway but i don't even know who made it there's no name anywhere that's a bummer but well maybe it's online too maybe you guys see it online you can tell me who made that one? Very, very cute though, right? So fun idea there. Okay, so back to my simple, boring opening. <laughs> it's definitely not as flippy dippy as that one, right? But still, I think so cute, right? The little, I'm bananas about you. And then we just, oh, um, well, I did stamp on the inside. Well, okay, I know what happened. I'll explain in a moment. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> All right. Oh, 
And then these are the dies that I was talking about that we used the countryside corners dies. These are the ones that we used, well, obviously on this project right here, and then we also use them on our downline meeting make and takes too, that little flippy book that um, we had with the ink colors in it also. Okay, good, so that's the name of that. Okay, so, <clears throat> all right, let me tell you what we've got going here. We're gonna do some coloring, but yeah, I remember what happened. So I was supposed to come back and finish coloring that and put that on the inside like that for you. Um, so we will do that right here on this Facebook Live um, with our current card. Okay, yeah, I meant to, so I did these the other morning and now it's coming back to me. And then I thought I was gonna have time before Facebook Live today, and then I got caught up um, with dealing with the contractor and stuff going on in the kitchen, and then I completely blanked on <laughs> the fact that I meant to do that. So here we go. We are going to just kind of wing it right now. We'll be fine. Um, not that big of a deal. It's just the inside of the card. So, okay, we have our brand new in color pebbled path along the 11 inch side. We cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches for our tall folding card right there. Okay. So that's going to go like that, right? Then we have that inked botanicals designer series paper. So cool plaid on the back too, right? There was um, one with crushed curry too that I thought about using. A little bit more muted tones than, but this is cool too, right? Just very kind of bright floral. So this one measures four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And that is just going to go right on there. And then we have our basic white cardstock that goes on the inside that measures the four by five and a quarter right there. And then we have some pieces of, so we've got an extra piece of uh, the Pebbled Path cardstock to do that little guy. And then I actually already die cut this one because I had meant to do some stamping there also. Uh, but we're going to just, well, coloring was more so. Um, but we'll do that right now together. Okay. And then I have a little monkey that I stamped and um, just some little scraps. Apparently I have these little pieces probably to do my um, little bananas on also. So, okay. Let's start playing. So I think what we're gonna do, I'm gonna grab my die cutting machine and we're gonna die cut that piece right now out of our pebbled path cardstock so that then that is all taken care of. And I'm gonna grab one more mint just for safety purposes. <clears throat> okay, good, all right. This is working out okay, guys. I was really worried um, about doing this Facebook Live. It's something that I've been kind of thinking about doing for a while now. Um, okay, so here we go. We've got our countryside, what are they called? Countryside corners dies, right? Okay, so we are going to, we're not gonna use the biggest one. That is the one that we used on those make and takes. But this size right here is what we're gonna use on our pebbled path. So the second largest and then the third largest is what we used for that white piece that I already die cut, okay? So we're gonna just put this right here. Okay, so we're gonna get our die cutting done. Okay, all right. I don't know if you guys can hear Mr. John, he's out there, he's kind of, they've been talking a little bit, but he seems really loud now. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can't hear him. Maybe just a little rumble in the background, right? He's very chatty, just so you guys know. He'll he'll get off on some tangent, and then he'll say, oh, I need to focus. I'm like, yes, John, we all need to focus. <laughs> He's hilarious, but very, very chatty sometimes. Okay, so let's see. We are, what are we going to do here? I mean, okay, everything's kind of pulled apart here, but we got this. I want a little scrap piece because I'm going to go off the edge here when I do my stamping. So I'm going to use this little piece of grid paper because I have, I'm very like anal, right? This is my... First, my brand new pristine piece of grid paper. So I'm gonna use this to do my stamping for these branches because I don't want them to go too far off the edge. Well, I don't want to I don't want it to dirty up my beautiful pristine grid paper. Okay, so we have our what's this called? Black memento ink. I'm gonna stamp that guy right there. And we're gonna ink that up again. And then we're gonna stamp that one right about there. Okay. Then while we're doing our stamping, we are going to stamp another branch 
on the bottom of this piece. And this is actually gonna go on the inside of our card, right? I'm pounding pretty hard. Normally I do not pound that hard, but that linen ink pad, um, I did re-ink it recently. A lot of times I'm like, oh, it's kind of low on ink. So I really need to tap pretty hard on there. Okay, so let's see, we've got this one. And then just for fun, we are going to, I'm gonna show you, so here's kind of what not to do, I guess. Um, I, I stamped my bananas upside down. So you really need to look at, yeah, so you can see right here, like that banana is not gonna fit in that little punch, right? So you wanna kind of flip this over and look at it and then determine how, so I'm going to, let's see, maybe what am I gonna do? I'm gonna put, if I open that up, so I'm gonna stamp, mm, here we go, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do one here and we're gonna do one there, okay? And I kept this on here because I need to be able to hold on to it. Okay, so in our black memento ink, okay? And again, so we're gonna stamp one right there, and then I think we're gonna do one right there because then those will slip right in there. We're gonna color them first, but yeah, then that'll slip right in there. So that's a nice little trick to remember because otherwise you stamp them and then you're like, Oh, how do I get this in here, right? So more helpful to do, to kind of check it out, right? And then I already stamped my little monkey in black memento ink. Okay, so now we are going to do some coloring. We will save our sentiment. Um, we're gonna fit him in, actually, no, I bet we can do that, right? Let's go ahead and do our, I'm bananas about you with our crushed curry ink. Pop that. There we go. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to do our coloring now, if I haven't said that 15 times, right? Um, but I need to make sure that my colors are situated here. So I think I used crumb cake. Yeah, those are both crumb cake. Okay. So we're going to start with um, this little guy. We're going to use the light crumb cake. And the kind of cool thing is you don't really even have to like color in the lines um, because you're gonna come back and um, color over with a darker color. The only area that you kinda wanna be careful with is those eyes because you wanna keep those white. But everything else, you can just kinda go crazy because you're gonna come back through and color over with your darker color. So it won't be a big deal if you get outside the lines um, with this light crumb cake color, okay? So get that all filled in really well there, okay? Then we are going to use, these are the Pebbled Path, new blends in our ink colors, right? Oh, let's see, Jerry, you have a question here. You use the Memento ink whenever you're going to color with the blends, yes. Um, because, and I can't remember quite, but like maybe this is an alcohol-based marker, and so you don't wanna use an alcohol-based ink. I don't know, there's some reason why when you're coloring with your blends, not with your stamp and write markers, not the other markers, but the blends that come in these combo packs. So we've got Crumb Cake Light and Dark. Um, what did I call this one? Pebbled Path Light and Dark. And then we're actually gonna use these, our Granny Apple Green Light and Dark. So whenever you use these blends, you wanna stamp with your Memento Black ink because then it doesn't bleed on you, okay? Okay, so now we're going to use um, this, the light version of the Pebbled Path marker. And I'm gonna do the best I can because you guys, that camera is right where my head needs to be <laughs> to really do a good job of coloring. Uh, but we're gonna do the best we can. You know, this is where I should be like, you know, chit-chatting about maybe the trip or other things. Um, but I also am like, wow, I really need to concentrate. So I'm still, um, uh, normally I use a that like motion sickness patch when I go on these trips because, you know, you're so excited. You don't want to be um, sick, not feeling well um, <clears throat> on the ship, on this amazing trip, right? Um, but I'm trying to think if... I don't know the last, I guess it would have been the Greek Isles. I can't remember if I actually wore the patch or not, but I kind of decided it kind of, it messed with me more than I wanted it to. Like it made mm, 
like kind of dry mouth, like super dry mouth. And then it made my vision a little bit blurry too. Um, so that was, I bought readers one year for the first time. Um, not because I really even needed them quite then, you know, it happened like, I don't know, the next year, then I really needed readers for my eyes. But um, at any rate, it made my vision kind of blurry. Um, and then, I don't know, I was pretty woozy feeling for days after. The first time I took the patch off right away and I realized, oh my gosh, you can't do that. It's almost like your body's still used to being on the ship. So you need to give it a couple of days to get back on land and then peel the patch off. Because I was so like motion sickness, like back here at home, which was so weird, but I guess that happens. So anyway, I decided I didn't want to use the patch anymore. And I just took Dramamine, which um, definitely helped. Like I didn't feel sick at all, but I'm still feeling kind of like woozy, like a little it, like tippy, you know, like like you're rocking a baby kind of thing, but I'm not, <laughs> but my body still kind of feels like it is. So um, yeah, it's kind of this weird feeling, but so I'm just kind of going back through, I'm kind of shading like kind of the outside edges of his belly in the dark. Now, hopefully you guys can kind of see, I did his arms a little bit too. So just kind of fill that in. And then um, I'm going to lift that up so you guys can see. All right, Jerry, you're welcome. I'm glad that you asked that question too, because somebody else might have that. So you can see how it's a very like kind of distinct edge between those two colors. So now we're going to grab our light pebbled path blend and we're going to kind of blend the light and the dark in so you just kind of swirl over here just a little just kind of makes that uh kind of distinct line not quite so distinct but then it gives him a little bit darker belly and actually i'm going to kind of color in around his ears too because i kind of went around those edges also okay so you can have lots of fun in the coloring if you would like, just kind of go crazy color as much as you want. If you want more shading, you kind of just keep kind of doing that. Okay, so we are going to grab, this is our crushed curry, our dark crushed curry, because I want these bananas to really pop, okay? So we're gonna color our bananas in our dark crushed curry. I think that one looks good. Flip that one, you can see how much it bleeds through too, right? So make sure you are not coloring um, you know, we have like a layer or two underneath it because it definitely bleeds through because you don't want to ruin your table or whatever you might be coloring on, right? Okay, we are also going to use, um, I think I used the light, light or dark. Let's see. <laughs> it's funny because now I'm like, huh, did I use crumb cake? Yeah, I think I did. So I'm like on his face. I'm going to go, I'm going to color him a little bit more. There we go. I need his face a little bit darker, I think. So we're gonna kind of color that back in, okay? And then we're gonna also use, does that look like the same color? I think so, yep, okay. So we're going to color the branches on this little guy. Those guys are being really loud out there. I wanna say, shh, guys, talk with a whisper. They, they don't even know. They're just having a good old, two guys out there working on the counters, having a good old time. It's actually kind of cute. Okay, so there we go. We got that one. I want to use dark. I like the darker better. Okay, we're going to go back. Okay. It's very relaxing and soothing though, isn't it, right? To color and to watch others. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. A little bit darker. Okay. Yep. There we go. And we're going to color the branch on <clears throat> the piece that goes on the inside of our card too. So simple and easy, right, to kind of do this. So yeah, in addition to like the camera kind of being in the way, uh, that little bit of woozy feeling, I'm like, okay. It's a little bit hard to color too. <laughs> when you're when you're feeling kind of woozy right okay so now we are going to use our granny apple green I'm going to color in with my light version of the green and then I'll come back and add a little bit 
of dark on the shading, okay? So we're gonna do this one right here, and here, and here, one more there, okay? Couple more, and then we'll, like I said, we're gonna come back through and add our shading with our dark granny apple green, okay? So this stamp set, obviously you can do lots of coloring with it like I'm doing, but on the next card, I'm gonna show you how you can keep it really simple and, um, well, I'll show you. You don't have to do, you don't have to do nearly the coloring, kind of like we did on the make and takes uh, at our meeting. I'll show you those, or that I showed you already, but yeah. You'll, you'll understand more what I mean, but you can kind of see how fun that is just to add that little bit of shading. You could go back through and blend that out a little bit more if you wanted to. Um, I may come back and do that later, but kind of in the interest of time, we're going to call that good for right now. And let's see, I know I have, here's my adhesive. Okay, so we're going to put this piece on the inside. I think we're done with this one. Okay, mm, where's our, so this is the card we're making, right? And this is the finished product anyway, and then this is the one that we're actually making. Okay, now we're gonna add this designer series paper. Again, very pretty paper, right? I'm excited to use it, um, you know, in more of the botanicals fashion also. But I thought it, like I said, I thought it was, it worked really well um, <clears throat> for this project and the monkeys too, right? Okay, so we're going to, that's the back side, right? Okay, and these are cool, dies right these what are they called again the countryside corners dies i don't know why i can't remember that name but i'm struggling to remember that okay um where are my dimensionals oh excuse me i just hit out didn't i i thought i had dimensionals out but maybe not so this is great though you guys because then i can just like reach over so where i work is just on the other side of where we're doing this video <laughs> so everything i don't have to like run to the craft room it's literally right here. Oh my gosh, I can even like reach and put them in my little, I have this little trash can that I like to use on my desk, right? Super cute, right? So I just have that in the corner. Oh, this is working out really well. I won't even have to clean up as much when I'm done. Just pop everything in my little trash can. It's gonna be perfect. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. We It's been chaos around here, you guys. I mean, if you can imagine going through the kitchen remodel and coming back home, to it. So this like little moment of this is working out nicely is really, really making me happy. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you could hang out with us today, Jerry. You can always catch the rest of the Facebook Live later whenever it's convenient for you. So glad you could join us today. Okay, so here we go. We're going to punch so you can see, right, we've got the little banana one banana and then we're going to flip it over and since i punched or stamped it strategically right it fits right in there they have these little dots which i'm not even sure what they're for but they come out with everything right whenever you punch the other stuff okay so we need that banana and we need that banana and we don't need these little guys so we're going to just get rid of all of that stuff okay so now we need a teeny teeny tiny little dimensional so what i did grab my little snips here and i'm just going to cut these little strips right here and we're going to put these on the little bananas right so that one's going to go there and that one's going to go there and then i'm going to grab a big dimensional i'm going to put it right on my monkey there okay so <clears throat> I'm bananas about you, right? We're going to put that little baby right there. He's so cute, isn't he? Oh, my gosh. Love him. He's um, kind of holding a little banana in one hand, and then there's another one just hanging from the branch, maybe right about there. Okay. Let me get those markers out of the way. Oh, and one more thing, because you guys know me, I always have to add some bling, right? So these are the in-color dots, okay? So they come in, this is Pebbled Path, Wild Wheat, uh, Moody Mauve, ooh, ooh, what is that one? Boho Blue and, oh gosh, uh, oh, I can't remember the name of it right now. Um, maybe it'll come to me. It might, okay, but we're going to just add Pebbled Path. We're going to add... 
a couple of these little pebbled path in color dots to our project. There we go. Copper clay. That was the other one. Copper clay. I knew it was going to come to me. Okay. All right. So card number one is done, right? So cute. I'm bananas about you, right? Okay. Now let me show you this next one. Like I said, is a little bit more simple. Not as much coloring. Where did it go? Right here. Okay. A little bit, a little bit of coloring, but not too much, right? So, and then also using more of that inked botanicals designer series paper. So we've got this little guy just swinging by to say hi with some of our new gems. Okay, I have to show you how I was saying they have, oops, all the different packs. So these are called the adhesive backed sparkle gems. So here is our pack. I'm gonna say it's kind of like a silver, a black, and like a tan, I'm not even quite sure. The names are probably in there, but I thought it worked really well with our new um, pecan pie color. Like I almost, it almost looks like a pecan pie gem, doesn't it? Okay, so let me show you. Again, this is what I was talking about. You can make a cute monkey just by stamping. You don't even have to color. So let me show you how we did that one, okay? Let's get this stuff the colors are the same with the um, crushed curry and then the prints work really nicely together too I thought oh you know what we need to do let's do so I've got my and you know the the beauty right of Stampin' Up is everything coordinates so we've got our parakeet party cardstock and our parakeet party blends so we are going to just get our head right down in here and I'm just going to color these things you can see how quick and easy this is right uh, 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 right. I could even maybe use the bigger one. I've a lot of times, well, especially because um, I can't see very well <laughs> since my head's not right down in there. I probably need to go to the eye doctor and see about some glasses, right? One of these days, maybe I'll do that. In the meantime, we are going to just do the best we can here and kind of color these little bits just like this, right? And the kind of nice thing is they don't have to be absolutely perfect, right? It looks kind of cool if you just have a little bit of color, even if there's like a little bit of white popping out in between them. And then I just kind of did a couple. I added some dark just to a few, right? Because, you know, when you look at leaves, they aren't all always the same color, right? Some of them are lighter, some of them are darker, so we're just gonna kind of add a little bit of shading to a few of those. And then same thing over here, just to a few of these stripes in here. I just kind of added a little more color to these guys, right? Just adds a little bit of dimension, really, to your project. There. And that's all we need to do for that. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this back into view. We're going to scoot these things over here. So I think we can put the inside. Might as well do that, right? Run it and tip it back here. Put this on the inside of our card. Okay, we got that right there. Next, we're going to add more adhesive to our stitched circle. Okay. We are going to put that right there. We got our little monkey. Add him, and he's just swinging by to say hi, right? So we got to get his tail like he's actually hanging off of a branch, right? And then here we go. I've got a dimensional stuck to my finger, just swinging by to say hi. And then the final little bit, because you guys know I always love, I got all this stuff all over the place, right? Got to add, I, I was like, this is just, I need something else. And I peeked and I was like, oh, look, these look like pecan pie. They're probably not, but you get the idea, right? And you can just even use your fingers if you want to, right? So we got one there, one there, and then I put one right there. And there we go, voila, we did it. So two super cute cards, right, with that little monkey bundle and that inked botanicals designer series paper. Okay, so as always, especially if you're new to Facebook Live, I wanna make sure that you know this, right? That you get both of these projects as a thank you from me for ordering using this host code right here. Your name also goes in the drawing to win wherever that pack of designer series paper is. 
craft or math. There it is. Our Bright Designer Series paper. Your name goes in the drawing to win that. You also get to pick from the now June PDF tutorial or the demo, or excuse me, the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the free embellishment. So yeah, lots and lots of good stuff. And I truly, truly appreciate your orders. Thank you so much. I know you have a choice of demonstrators. And so I do, like I said, I really, truly appreciate you ordering through me. And I love to give you free stuff as a thank you for your order. So, so good to be back doing another Facebook Live. I think it went okay. You guys let me know if the fan is it's spinning around overhead, if it's like making it weird and driving you crazy. Um, hopefully it's not because it's going to be a long summer. Um, <laughs> without the fan. Okay, so have a great weekend. So glad to be back. Happy summer to you all, and we'll see you on our next Facebook Live. Bye, everybody. Thank you.